Good morning, Collective. How are you guys doing? Fine, I hope. Um, I really don't know who I want to read for this morning, so I'm just going to start with some roller dice for you guys. Got the cards, Palo Santo stuff. Got my Florida water here. Not going to keep my face on the camera for the whole time. I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of face time this morning, because I have not been doing so um, in the recent past. So, we'll do a roll dice reading. We'll get you guys your reading for the day. I hope everyone has a great Friday. And let's see what we get here. How does that work? Is that it? That's pretty good to me. Okay. Some roll of dice. For whatever sign we get. Where's the sign card? <laughs> we have Mercury here. Um, this could be for Virgo or for Gemini. So yeah, let's get going again. Come on now. <laughs> okay, okay, make it make sense. Okay, okay, okay. We got Libra. Cool. I'll take it. I'll take Libra. For my roll of dice reading. So, Libra, your card and your energy actually is here. Rest to go. I'm my gingerbread man. It's my little reading sidekick. My kid gave me that sticker forever ago, and um, it's been a sidekick of mine for these readings ever since. So, Tarot is timeless. There could be events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that will unfold for some of you Libras here in the near future. All right. Tarot's gender neutral, your kings to be queens, and vice versa. Upside down, I don't like that. And also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate that. Share and subscribe my content. That would be much appreciated as well. And then without further ado, Libra, let's get into your reading. Starting you guys off with some spirit animal oracle. See what spirit animal energy you guys have riding with you for this tarot card reading. For this time period, which again is timeless, so I'm not going to put a time on my reading for you guys. Wow. Dragon. Supernatural. Everybody wants that card. Supernatural. So it reads, Libra. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny and rise with dignity. Beautiful, beautiful energies for Libra to start you guys off with. Okay, that ain't gonna work right there. Come on now. Work with me. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful display. Beautiful display. And also, I want to go right into some moonology cards and then some astrology and then the tarot. Spirit, what message is this? I saw 316 on the timer. 316 is a very powerful, magical number for me. We have for my Libras from the Moonology deck. What messages do we whoa. have? Those cars fly like that. <laughs> Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. When those cars fly like that. It's definitely a divine message. You not go for it every time, every single time. Anything else for Libra? From the Moonology deck. That one. You are good enough. Um, conclusions are within reach and you are good enough. So something that you guys um, have been wondering about. Maybe trying to manifest or even pondering on here. Is um, coming up for you. You're going to get the answers that you need I feel. Hold your vision about a situation. Actually the message. <laughs> holding, your mess holding your vision about a situation that you wonder about, you've worried about, or you could really be pondering heavily on is um, coming to conclusion really soon. Know that you are good enough for whatever it is that it is that you want. Hold your vision about what it is that you want. Try to keep your vibration high. Your dreams need a practical plan. So it's one thing to visualize and want something, but it's another thing to get up and do something about that. Um, begin to put one foot in front of the other and just begin to walk towards it. And you'll be surprised at what will come into your experience. The supernatural energy with the dragon um, that would show up and help you here, right? 
Beautiful messages, beautiful energy I get from that. Wasn't filling any of those. What else do we have from the astrology deck for Libra Spirit? What do we have from the astrology deck this morning for Libra? Cancerian energy as well as Mars. So you're having fights at home um, with something or someone at home here. There's problems on the home front. There's going to be problems with your children, mother or a father here when this energy shows up. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving, and it may concern family, a mother, or a child. Again, that's just what I get. That is what spirit gives me, and I just rock with it, guys. So let's find out more about Libra. Mars, this is what you fight with and for. Your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. So, woo. Trouble in paradise. Someone's having problems at home with marriage, with mother, with father, with, um, you know, your kids, possibly. So, conclusions are within reach. I feel that things are going to work out. Just hold your vision and know that you are good enough here and make a practical plan for whatever it is that you want to manifest and create into your experience here so you can begin to move towards it and let the universe help you once you set an intention and you actually focus on that um, where your attention goes, energy flows, and the universe will be able to show up and help you in those areas, all right? So we have Taurus. The energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. I see something that you want to manifest here. Um, I do want to mention that Taurus is ruled by Libra as well as um, you. Taurus is ruled by Venus, I'm sorry. As well as you, Libra. So this is like your guiding energy. With that energy, it's telling me that... You can be very abundant here. Something in your way. I get Knight of Pentacles. Any kind of energy. Very slow to move. May your plans need a practical plan because there's something you want to do. You may be dragging your tail about. But hold your vision. You are good enough. If it's causing problems for you guys on the home front, then um, it's just time to begin to put one foot in front of the other. Hold your vision. Actually come up with and decide what it is that you really want for yourself so that you can begin to manifest that and make it happen. Bring it into fruition, you know, so you can end the fights, the chaos, and the ruckus that's at home because you want to keep that nurturing mother-father relationship or the relationship with your kids or someone in your home, in your household, very near and dear to home. Um, and, you know, you want to keep them good. You don't want to have fights and feuds there. You don't want to have a fire at home. Home is where you go to get away from the fire, you know? So, yeah. Spirit, what other messages do we have when it comes to the tarot? Whoa. <laughs> For Libra. I don't think I'm going to take those. Wasn't feeling that. For my Libras. For my Libras. There we go. King of Pentacles with the Taurus. Okay. Some of you guys are strongly dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy here. Um, very earthy, very productive here. The Knight um, of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the tarot. So again, um, Libra, that could be your energy. And then you have the King or Queen. could be interchangeable of Pentacles energy showing up there. And look what we have on the split. The Magician as well as the Eight of Swords. I'm going to keep shuffling, but I do see that something you're trying to manifest is not coming into fruition because you may be having self-fulfilled prophecies about it, feeling that you're not good enough here. For a Swords jumped out. See what else we get. <laughs> Your cards are jumpers today. Jeez Louise. I'm talking about jumpers all over the place. Wow. Crazy, yo. So, your cards that are jumping here, I just got them. I'm just going to have to work with it because we definitely just got that Eight of Swords and that Magician back. So, Spirit's like, should have never put it back in the deck. They wanted me to see that on a split for a reason, and it's here for you. So, let's bring it together and make it make sense. Whew, these messages. You have two of cups in the reverse. I'm going to keep it that way because Spirit gave it to me for that way for a reason and the chariot in reverse. So, when it comes to the tarot for you guys... They want these cards at the top. <laughs> I love how spirit guides me. Love it. So, we have Eight of Swords. This is you being in your head about something, feeling stuck, feeling like, you know, you can't move forward one way or the other here. Your plans need a 
practical. Your dreams need a practical plan. And in this energy, you're not doing anything about it. You're not manifesting the things that you want to create for yourself, regardless of the tools, the things that you have. The magician rules all four elements. He rules the air, the water, the earth, as well as the fire, and has a way of bringing that into fruition, working with the ebbs and flows of life, and beginning to manifest it magically with the infinity symbol here on his hoodie, on his hooded sweatshirt that he's wearing. It shows the infinite, the abundance that you can have, that you can create for yourself and your experience here if you just come out of this self-fulfilling prophecy kind of energy, Libra. Four of Swords. The high priestess we have capricorn with the devil gemini libra aquarius virgo as well as gemini and pisces and virgo with the high priestess as well as cancer and cancer scorpio pisces so these cards are in the reverse we'll get to them we have the devil energy this devil energy here for you guys to me is saying that some of you guys may have addictions may be dealing with or fighting with something or someone could be on the home front that could even be going back at home fighting with someone mother father kids that has a tendency to have addictions or be obsessed or obsessively in some type of energy of something that is blocking them from ascending blocking their intuition here when the high priestess shows up there's the secrets that are being held back but the high priestess you can't pull a wool over her eyes um she knows all she sees all she's very connected to the akashic records to her intuition and she listens to and feels that's why the eyes of the high priestess here is closed because it's not more so of what she can see it's what she can feel it's what she knows intuitively and she guides she uses their intuition like a gps to guide her through the 3d so some of you guys could be having that on the home front four of swords rest rejuvenation taking time to fall back here and just recharge your batteries your spiritual batteries regardless of whatever it is i see that love has taken a back seat in your situation or connection you're on break from love maybe not dealing with anyone right now in your love life him this four of swords it's pretty bomb if i do say so myself because she's given up on trying to amend and weave and knit this heart you know that love she's put it to the side and just laid back and she's taking a break falling back like giving up on love have you given up is the love in your life that you want something or somebody you could have been obsessed with that you think about a lot just not really coming forward regardless of how much you're trying to manifest that connection so it's got you in your head about the situation mental imprisonment that's for some of you so I see you have something or someone in your life here that you view or see as a soulmate connection. Two of Cups, that's a very spiritual connection. It's a soulmate. It's a soul tie. It's mutual attraction and love, but that's in reverse. So you lack that right now. There's something or someone you're putting time, energy into that's not reciprocating from you. And from what I see, there can be an obsession here on one or the other. You are your person's side, right? And the chariot in reverse also says there's no movement. There's four of swords, and then you have the chariot. There's no movement there in that situation here. So I don't know what you guys plan to do about that. Let's get you some psychic tarot oracle. So sorry for those of you. And let's go we have <laughs> rest and rejuvenate. That's more four of swords energy. Might want to take time meditating. Go within. This is spiritual work, some spiritual healing and cleansing to help raise your vibration. And maybe it's time to just put love to the side and focus on you, yourself, your dreams, giving them a practical plan and beginning to move towards those plans because maybe your love life is being held up. You don't have movement there because you're trying to manifest something that is not really... Um, the time for right now you know life is cyclic we have lessons we have things and people in our life for a season and for a reason but now it's your season to manifest it's your season to grow those things that are you're dragging your tail about um the universe is showing you king of pentacles because that's what you are capable of having you're capable of being that king of pentacles energy of manifesting a very abundant life for yourself starting a new business doing really well being a boss being a, a owner an entrepreneur here so these energies wouldn't be there for you if you know spirit didn't have it somewhere lined up what is that one <laughs> in your future recognition and rewards i like that one wow and intuition again okay all right and you got all red cards so <laughs> fulfillment of wishes this is something else because i usually don't get them like that and new begin it's beautiful i'm done with you guys reading beautiful you have new beginnings the full card taking a leap of faith just going forward wish fulfillment energy is here so venus is showing up blessing your finances here taurus is the second house everyone wants to have second house energy show up in their reading because that's abundance 
So whatever has been delayed from you or you're taking a time out for it will manifest very beautiful once you give your dreams a practical plan. Know that you're good enough and begin to walk towards it. We have a whole new world that you're ready to embark on. Beautiful plans folding, unfolding in front of you that once you believe in yourself and know that you're good enough, hold your vision, continue to manifest, maybe go within, do some meditation so that you can actually create the things that you've been thinking about and wanting for yourself. That's part of taking action, you know. The meditation is can be an action form as well. You receive the recognition and rewards, you know. That's accolades. This is a job well done. This is giving yourself a pat on the back. This is some of you guys graduating, buying a house, buying a car. This is public recognition in your community. Um, you could be in the public eye and finally getting the subscribers that you want, um, that you've been trying to manifest here. Financial and material changes with Venus's energy and the King of Pentacles. I can definitely see that here for you. Wish fulfillment. Movement, choices, and decisions. So this goes hand in hand to me with the um, your dreams need a practical plan. So just know that the movement, choices, and decisions you make are going to have everything to do with the fulfillment of your wishes here in this energy. Um, the waterfall is all about abundance, the flow, the infinite flow of the universe, things that can be everlasting like the infinity symbol in the magician's hood. You can have this energy forever. It doesn't matter where you are when you start in the game. Um, sometimes you can start at the end and the universe will still put you in the first position you know start last finish first type of energy so don't worry about that it's here for you then you have positive movement forward and material harvest <laughs> where it all makes sense look at that libra where it all makes sense where it all comes together you know so conclusions are within reach we want to visit this um ace of swords energy triumphant success i want that from the book i don't know what this card means but i do want it from the book where are we with that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give me one second so it reads for you guys the first of the mental cards signifies that new beginnings and exciting challenges may be before you. By utilizing your strength, willpower, determination, and focus, there's the potential for you to reign triumphant in many areas of your life. In traditional tarot, this card represents the Ace of Swords, and since a sword is double-edged, it can cut through all the barriers that hold you back if it's done constructively and with precision. And I do want to revisit your dreams need a practical plan here, Libra. Again, if it's done constructively and with precision, remember that there's another side to the blade. If you're rash or use it in a destructive way, it could be harmful to yourself and others. Always pause and think before you act, which is why that Mars energy is here, you know. Think before you act. This card is a reminder to vanquish negative thoughts from your mind strengthen and tap into your mental powers with the intuition here right the high priestess twice confirmation okay and use clarity with control in order to initiate new ways of thinking and bow and bow <laughs> So it's not just about even standing your ground. It's about how you stand your ground, you know. It's about not always going into a situation with the um, fight type of mindset. Wanting to fight, wanting to argue, wanting to be combative all the time. That double-edged sword can cut either way. It can cut both ways. So you have to stand your ground constructively. You have to use precision and discernment and do things right here is what I see then you will begin to form these beautiful, beautiful <laughs> partnerships and alliances, right? You want to turn this two of cups and that chariot in the upright because once you release that energy that you have festered up, all that animosity, all that fight energy, you know, creating the problems and bickering at home, you're going to manifest that. You're going to have true love coming to you. That that you seek is also seeking you. So ponder your story changing, right? Ponder that chariot coming, running towards you, triumphing over success. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's a whole new you. You're shedding old skin. You're growing new skin, but you're growing really thick skin so that this time you will be 
almost impenetrable um, through your skin body um, if that makes sense if that was even a word if not I just made one up so I do really feel a good outcome for you guys here just know that be patient it is a waiting game the seeds that you have planted um, are requiring for you to meet challenges in life the obstacles and challenges and struggles you're going through and facing right now they're for a reason okay that's for a reason that's to see if you are worthy of this next cycle and phase that's coming in your life so right now it's a waiting game the seeds that you planted um it depends you can either yield a beautiful beautiful harvest um you can reap some beautiful beautiful things from what you've sown or you can continue to live in a low vibrational energy mindset and um be festered up here and whatever it is that you have going i do get some chaotic um feisty energies on the home front and at home for some of you guys so i'm gonna leave it there i don't want to visit the energy oracle the kipper which i love or the romance angels this is just a life message and story here for some of you guys so i hope you got what you needed thank you guys so much i love you guys take care have a great weekend and be safe stay healthy namaste